14 strikeouts for Strasburg and, and, and a night that no one will ever, ever forget. No, that was that was magic. I think I've watched that uh, that, that game on uh, the uh, my iPad. I was I got to be close to 100 times. I still can't believe it. And uh, I, me- I remember the comment about that the umpire could not believe the curve on the Stephen Crew and the, the trajectory of it, and that uh, they had kind of predicted that you would have to get used to it to understand that that's not a ball, that the ball is... You know, the Pirates couldn't get used to it either. Yeah, no question about it. It was an amazing night. I remember listening to uh, D- D- Dave's uh, uh, Jackler's uh, commentary on the radio, and uh, you know, they, they just, they're just screaming, you know, it's unbelievable, and it was, that was quite a night. Stephen was amazing. That'll go down as one of the great moments, not only in Nationals history, but I think in any major league ball club. I don't think any rookie has ever made a debut like that, uh, whether it's a position player or a pitcher. Uh, I don't think it could ever be duplicated. And over here we have uh, Bryce Harper, who's just begun to scratch the surface of how great this kid's going to be as the years roll on. Yeah. I, I remember seeing his uh, first game in L.A. I love My wife and I love going on the road trip with the team to California. We happened to be there in, in L.A. when this happened, and, uh, and uh, we got the word. Got yeah, we, we, yeah, we got the word that um, I think Zim got injured, and they were going to bring him up. And uh, I remember standing right, right behind him, just, just snapping photos with my phone. And uh, it was quite, it was quite a night. He's an amazing young man, and he, people keep, seem to forget that he's still only 23 years old. That's correct. And uh, he's, he's, uh, he's still got to be one of the, you know, I guess top 10, obviously, youngest players in the league. So. And we all remember the clown, the clown yeah, question yeah. quote. Yeah. But that was great. That was, that was great. a great quote. Well, it tells you a lot about him. Yes, I mean, he, he's um, he's so passionate about the game. All he wants to do is win, and and uh, he's a total team player. And um, I, I, I love the process of watching him grow and mature over the years. It's just an, an, it's an amazing journey, and obviously he has a long ways to go. And I can only imagine what heights he'll reach. Of all your memories and all the fans' memories, this picture up here of Jason coming to home plate after this walk-off homer, October 11th of three years ago, yeah. still rings like it's yesterday. Um, it's tough, but I, I still, it, it's still my number one thrill. Uh, I mean, I'm, I, you know, just being a baseball fan and seeing something like that is very cool. It's too bad to what happened the next night, but we'll always have this memory. And uh, I remember watching swing the, where I said in the flight of that ball out, and I just, I just couldn't believe my eyes. So. It was it was an amazing night. I, I tell you, I, I've watched Stephen a hundred times. I probably listen and watch this one. I would say probably close to a thousand times, either Charlie's call mm-hmm. or the video of it. And um, I'll never get tired of it. And I always have that memory. And a lot of our, our great fans will have an amazing memory. And as the ball club continues to pursue that Eastern Division crown this year. This would be nice to have again in the clubhouse. This is down in Atlanta. Yeah, Atlanta. Um, my, my sisters and I were there for it. My brother-in-law, Bob, was quite a night. And, uh, uh, yeah, you don't get to enjoy it too much. Uh, this place. I mean, it's, they're very rare, and you got to appreciate them. You know, you're not going to not gonna get there every year, and uh, you certainly try to, but sure. Uh, I've got one of those bottles in my office, too. I didn't drink it. Somebody just gave me the bottle. But uh, I did get so pretty good in the locker room, I, which is the be- best feeling. I mean, no 12 and no 14. I'm, you know, they, they got me pretty good because they, they had a they had a good target there. These guys, and, uh, but it felt good. Just in, in 14, I was smart. I brought I brought extra clothes, and I yeah. brought and I brought goggles. It was funny. You have to have I brought goggles. goggles. Yeah. I left it all in the clubhouse manager's office, and I go in. I said, okay, I'm gonna go get the uh, goggles on before they all come in. With, and the guy had locked the door, oh <laughs> so I got it in the eyes again. Good luck. But it was it was worth it was worth every sting. We saw we saw Max Scherzer's no hitter, and this is the first year for Jordan Zimmerman last year, last day of the season. Yeah, what a, what a what a catch by Steven Souza Jr. Um, and uh, that was I thought 
it was a double. I mean, right off the bat, I, and I, I wouldn't like Jordan. <laughs> and, but to watch his expression on the video afterwards, because he, he says, oh, oh God. Yeah, and then yeah. he says, oh, my God, he made it, and his hands go up. I mean, that was just an amazing, amazing moment. How proud it must make you and the, the entire organization feel to have this exhibit down here. It's, it's really, it's, they've done an amazing job with it. I mean, they, one day I walked into our offices, and I'm saying, what happened to all this stuff? You know, the cabin is empty. It looked like we were robbed. They said, no, it's all at the museum, and they're, they're making displays for this 10th uh, year celebration. I said, that's great. So, and uh, I've been trying to get down here, and uh, every, the two times I've planned, something happened, I couldn't make it, so I'm delighted to come today when it's quiet, uh, and uh, we can sit here and really read, read uh, the exhibits.